was thinking about do, do, do. calibration. Obviously, I was telling you guys I was doing all this like video calibration. And video is uh video and audio, of course, have a lot in common. Video seems to be easier to explain though, because you can see the difference. Yes. Yeah. Versus when you do audio, it's like, is it right? Well, I don't know. What's I, correct? Well, what's- I, I I mean, I don't know. There, there I, I would say it's not as bad as audio because it's completely subjective. But there are people that have less like vision, like their their eyesight's not as good, right? You know? Yeah, I think so, this relates though to what you had a, a YouTube uh short. Aaron, when you were like, it looks like you were just going for a walk. Or yeah, I was just walking. Run. Yeah. And you were just saying the difference between a flat anechoic versus flat in room and right. how flat in room sounds horrible. So don't get it twisted. Right. In yeah. a flat response, you're talking about an accurate speaker that measures flat anechoically. No, n- not in a room. Right. And, and that difference. Yeah, I'll definitely be making a video on that because I was just like, I saw a post earlier yesterday morning and I've seen them a lot of times where people will say, well, I don't like flat measuring speakers. They always sound bad in my room. And it's like, okay, yeah, those are two different things. Like the flat measuring in your room is not the same thing as flat measuring anechoic. And then, so I made that little short, just kind of like as a reminder. And I was really surprised at the number of people saying, yeah, dude, you should make a video about this. And I was like, mm. really? I have made okay. a video about that, by the way, a long time have ago. You? Okay. I, it was called is, is flat a flat frequency response? Does a flat frequency response sound good? And I just yeah, basically yeah. talked about that. Okay. Um, it didn't really pop off, but maybe yours will do better. No, well, most of mine, you know, like I was thinking, oh, it'll do good. And then and I'm like, uh, that probably won't do good because I thought it'll do good. But if I think it will do good, and that means that it probably won't do good, then does that mean that it will probably <laughs> do good? But that means it won't do And then, 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 and then it's like Wayne's World and they tell a friend. And they tell a friend. Anyway. Uh, I like Garth in the second one when he's like, my, what's he say? My woman or my lady? He's like, my lady likes me in Cologne. Yeah. Garth, is that like, root? Garth. Garth. Take me. Yeah. Where? It's cold and you need a jacket. That's right. Oh, he's a dead man. And he walks out of the house with a gun. And he's like, what am I doing? Drop the gun in his shrubbery and leaves. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Optimus Vader just showed up. What is up? up? I okay, seen so, you in a while. Th- so what I was going to say was related to... Um, um, calibration and stuff? To calibration. Okay. And how it just, to me, it makes perfect sense. It's like, it's not that complicated about why flat makes sense. <laughs> why accurate speaker makes sense. Yeah. It's, just, it's so simple in my mind. Um, but here, let me show you an example of what I did right before this show. Uh-oh. Um, because Angela was saying that my exposure was too high, and why in my other ones, I was like, I don't know that Aaron's supposed to be darker than you. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate. I'm like, yeah, maybe not, because I had it on auto. Uh-huh. So the, the Sony was actually deciding what the exposure should be. Mm-hmm. So it wanted me, I guess, it, you know, I don't want to get into that, <laughs> but whatever. It was exposing differently. And I uh, really, that's part of, partially a joke. It's probably because I have a dark background. So it's yeah, probably, kind of yeah. overcompensate. So anyway, um, let me show you something here. This is what I was doing. How crazy I am. FOMO, thanks for the super chat. What's up, FOMO? I, hey, I called you on Sunday to go look around for TVs while I was in he, LA. And to go golfing. I think he wanted to go golfing. He wants to go golfing. <laughs> golfing. <laughs> 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 Talk about a narcissist. Look at this no, guy. No, 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 no. Look it, look it. Look. So here's my camera, right? Here's the webcam setup. Here's StreamYard here. And I just wanted to make sure so I have a color chart. But yeah. what do I have here? Look in the middle. What is a that? A mirror. Is that a mirror? A mirror. Okay. Think about this. You look darker in the mirror. The mirror is going to be, I mean, it's the most accurate. It doesn't have any dynamic range issues. Um so this camera is going to be limited because it's a one inch sensor. Now this screen on the MacBook Pro is not a calibrated monitor. I mean, it's decent, but you know they do their own yeah. thing. It's not perfectly calibrated. Um, but you can even just look for my skin. Like, okay, well those are different. You can actually tell that the the, the camera monitor is more accurate. Yeah, more similar than this. Um, but think about that. 
my reference is the real world. Mm -hmm. When it comes to video calibration, if I could get this camera to look exactly the same as the mirror, and if my screen would look exactly the same as this mirror, like indistinguishable, then that means I have a very accurate uh, video reproduction setup. All right. Yes. All right. If it looks exactly the same. So oh, here's another picture. You can tell. <laughs> why? Why do you? Why? Why in this one on the right, this lower one? Why do you just look constipated? Oh no! The one on the right looks like it's AI generated. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Anyway, I don't have any of that. Dude. Difference. Look, I, at, I, look at how shiny I, I look over here. I'm, not, I'm a little bit shiny, but dang, you know, it just looks very different. So. How does this relate to audio? How does this relate to audio? Because the reference is, is you know, what's on the recording. Right. The re that's the reference. The reference is the real world. How do you know the speaker sounds good in this room? <clears throat> because if somebody talks in that room, you know how the room sounds. So the reference is always the real world. You know, the, you know it's not subjective. Like, what's subjective about this? There's the real in the mirror. And then there's the one that's taken on the camera and played back on the monitor. Mm -hmm. Where's the subjectivity? There's either, if I got this to look more accurate where you couldn't tell the difference, yes. would, would somebody say, well, it's subjective. Everybody's eyes work differently. No. no. Everybody would say, no, that one looks more accurate. Right. Okay. Well, if, it, if we're talking about hi-fi, high fidelity, fidelity uh, high fidelity meaning like high quality reproduction, then I think we would all agree that the more accurate, the better. So where's the disagreement? Where, what's, where's the confusion at? Yeah. Anyway, let me get this off so, the screen. So it's harder. It's hard. It's harder. What you're saying is 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 audio is more subjective than video. No, I'm saying I'm saying video and audio are the same thing. You want it. You want to reproduce something accurately. Accurate. Yeah. The problem is that there's no a mirror when it comes to audio necessarily. Oh, I see. Yeah. Except when you know what the source is. So. We know what the source is when we're playing a sweep. We know what's supposed to come out of the speaker. That's why measurements matter. We know what pink noise is supposed to do. And so when when there's when you measure the output and it's not the same as the input, then you know, well, there's something wrong. You know, it's not it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> um, what? Well, <laughs> where does where, four, where of Joe's, four of neck Joe's brace. faces were getting flagged again? <laughs> uh, neck brace. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that relates exactly. Um, but it just some it things just can be objectively quantified. Oh, uh, this is how it kind of relates. You see how I was holding up a color chart? Yeah, yes. right. Well, that's your reference. Well, that's because this color chart is a known reference, mm -hmm. like pink noise, like a sweep. It's a known, there's known color values to this. Sure. I mean, you, I mean, it's not just, you can't just print this out. You know, these are known, known values for each of these things. And this, this is, is specifically known. for, uh, is this one for video? Yeah, this is a video one. So that's what pink noise is. And so when people say, well, measurements don't matter. Well, then how am I going to get it more accurate? Am I going to just use my eyes? I guess you could do that. Kind of use your eyes. There is but, a saying. How do you use your eyes? Measured. How do you use your ears to cal calibrate to pink noise? Easy. Psh, sounds good. You know, what What is pink noise supposed to sound like? All these things. It's so not anyway. A, I think it's, it's a, related in that sense. Someone was like, "You mean white noise?" I'm like, "No, there's also pink noise." There is. Yeah. How many of those um, color swatch things do you have, Joe? Is that just the one that you use as a reference? I have a. I have one for photos. Okay. And. So you, this okay. one's for video because it shows up on the uh, on the histogram and the vector scope properly. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious because I'm thinking the next time that I like come to your house, I'm probably going to take that and I'm going to like get some white out and put a little dab of white out over each one of those colors. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. yeah. Actually, you can't even touch these because if you touch it, it'll change the color a little bit. Whoa. Oh, don't touch it. Yeah. Don't touch That's it. That's a fancy. Thing. Don't touch it. So I don't know. To me, it makes sense. It makes sense from a video standpoint, and it makes sense from an audio standpoint. I think it just makes sense because look, yes. there's a saying: "What gets measured, gets improved." Yes, right? I like. We can't that. improve something if we don't measure it, 
right? Mm -hmm. Right. If I get oh, F's all in high school, then there's a room for improvement, but we got to measure that. I got to take a test. I fail a test. Oops. Then I got it. Do means something. the teacher sucks. Blame it on the teacher. Yeah, that's yeah. The teacher sucks. Oh, okay. the teacher sucks. Okay. Do we have any other? All right, everybody. We do the Daily Hi Fi podcast every Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you join up to the YouTube channel, youtube.com/slash Daily Hi Fi, and we will see you there for the big show every Monday. Yeah.